action. Hey you guys, it's Eddie G here. I got a 2004 Nissan Titan a crew cab, four wheel drive, blah, blah, blah. The issue being the passenger seat does not recline. The actuator, as you can see right here, you pull this lever right here and only one side goes back and the other side does not. So we found a TSB on a Titan, on a Titan forum, and a Titan talk forum, and they show there how to do it. So I haven't seen the video about this anywhere. And once we got into it, I thought I should video this. So first you're gonna pull your seat out by pulling the four bolts that hold it down into the frame right here, right? And then you pull those uh, bolts out, you get this thing up on the, uh, the table, and you remove the, the seat cushion part. There's four bolts that hold that here. You can just flip right over and pull the little cover down on the seat. Looks like this. Just get to the four bolts and you pull them out. Disconnect your, oh, before you pull the seat out, you're gonna have to disconnect your, your, um, your two cables here. One for your seat belt, one for your airbag. Also, don't forget to disconnect your battery power, okay? So that way your airbag don't launch on you. All right, so once you pull that seat out, you're gonna have to just kind of navigate, pull the stuff out of here. It's really best to get some of this trim work out of the way as well. As you can see, the trim work that's on here and on here, just a couple of Phillips screws. You take it off, set it to the side. There's my big mess over there. Okay, and then when you finally get to what you're looking for is this section right here, okay? This section right here, this post. There's a couple of screws that hold this in place, and so I just took the screws out so that I could move it out of the way. So what you gotta do then is come around to this side, Get your favorite set of trusty uh, vice grips. And you're gonna grab a hold of this little guy right here, okay? This is the part that's attached to the other part of the handle. All right, you're gonna put your vice grips on there, clamp super nice and tight, and then uh, pull it back so you can set this level with the other side. You want to level both sides so they're even, so this way when you go to actuate, you're actually not gonna have a crooked seat but a straight seat. So you're gonna actuate, put it in the first notch you possibly can so that they're lined up, okay? Then after that, take this thing, it's easier to work on its backside, so you just flip it over like this. Oh. <laughs> work on the backside here. So you take out those two little screws that were on the front that hold this post in the side, or post inside. You slide this bar out of the way, and that's where you want to drill. You make a little pilot hole right there. Can you see that, Mark? Yes. Hey, come on over. Yeah. There you go. You're gonna drill a hole. First, put a pilot with the uh, with a punch, and you put a hole right there. Drill it all the way through, and then you get yourself a five thirty seconds um, roll pin, and then just tap it in all the way through, and then cut it off on this side and cut it off on the other side, and then you can actuate it, and you're all set, and the thing works perfectly fine. So now we're just going back up with the seat, do everything in reverse, and put it back in. I know this is kind of a quick video, but that's the way it's done. Some people are wondering where to put this actual hole at. That's the place to do it. I've already tested it and it works fine. Okay, so hopefully that'll help you guys working on your 2004 or first generation Nissan Titan with your recliner or your passenger seat not reclining. The TSB, there's no video on it. That's how it's done right there, okay? Make sure you make a pilot hole first. Use a, a punch to start your pilot hole. I just work my way up from a real thin drill bit all the way up to 530 seconds. Go all the way through that, that bar there and then just take your rope pin and use a punch the same size and just tap it in and then just cut it off and you're good to go. All right, you guys, good luck.